Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here I have the real grade Tall Geese EW. Now this is definitely not the TV version because the backpack is white instead of that nice little gray. Um, but you know, hey, it kind of is what it is. Um, I know I mentioned in a video I think back in January or February, um, I was not interested in this kit whatsoever because I already had the master grade and it looked extremely similar to the master grade. But you know what? I really, really love the real grade line. And even though, like, I, I have a lot of kits that I have in master grade form. Like, um, I have the uh, Double O Quant. Uh, I have that as a real grade. I have the um, the Strike Freedom. I have the Freedom. I have uh, the Zeta. So I have. Oh, I, I even have uh, both of the wing kits. I have the Winging W and the Wing uh, Custom. So, yes, I, you know, I was like, if I'm going to go ahead and have the wing suits in real grade, I just might as well get the Tall Geese as a real grade. Um, I just think it'll, it'll, look, it'll look more aesthetically pleasing on my shelf than just not having it at all. Um, but the Master Grade is a very, very fine suit. It's uh, actually the last mobile suit, or well, the last um, Gundam kit I reviewed before I left Japan, which is kind of like sentimental to me. That's why every time I look at it on my shelf, I'm like, damn, like that was the last kit in 2013 that I reviewed that was uh, still in Japan. Um, so it kind of like, you know, sentimental. But just taking a look at the front art, uh, front art looks really good, no kind of issues. You know, you have the Toggies and the nice little uh, visor kind of gleaming uh, in the light. So that looks fantastic. Uh, and then obviously you can get some um, information on the real grade uh, stuff right there. Now this kit does retail for 2,500 yen, which is going back to the original kind of pricing for real grades. Um, but you know, if you go ahead and live in Japan, you can get it for about 20 bucks. So let's go ahead and take a look at the side. Um, nothing really too spectacular or crazy. It's just kind of showing you the inner, uh, inner mechanism for the like the you know frame, the thrusters. Uh, looks like uh, the weapon is going to have a little gimmick as well. Um, so overall, looks good. And this is going to be it. You know, not non-detail, just kind of like straight up out of the box, uh, which looks fantastic in my opinion. But overall, it looks good. And on this side, you're gonna get some little action poses. So um, it may actually be able to do uh, some things that the uh, the Master Grade could not. Like I had a lot of problems with the thrusters. Um, they just wouldn't like stay open. They kept like slowly closing. Um, and whenever you like pick them up, like they would just slowly, you know, come back down. So the joints uh, for the thrusters in particular weren't, weren't that fantastic. And I just had some problems, you know, posing it. Um, the arms were, you know, not as good on, you know, keeping the rifle up. So uh, that was just like one of the issues I had. Um, but I think this is going to be much better because, uh, you know, the, I think the inner frame is going to be a little bit tighter and generally for real grades, I know a lot of people have issues, but I have like almost no issues when it comes to real grades. Um, generally they all like work fantastic I, and, and y'all yeah, going to hate me for this, but the real grade Zeta is probably, probably my favorite real grade thus far. And people are like, it's a, it's a grenade in your hand. Well, I'm sorry you built it. In, as a grenade, but I didn't build mine as a grenade. It's very, very tight. Uh, but like I mentioned, it uh, retails for 2,500 yen, so that's a really good price. And also, this is the 28th real grade in the RG series. And looking on the inside, they just kind of show you some stuff uh, perfect for displaying with, um, you know, different mobile suits. So if you want to display the tall geese uh, with the wing zero, you definitely can. Uh, even though I would kind of say this should probably be posed with just the, um, the RG, um, uh, is it, it's not a wing zero. I think it's just wing, wing EW, uh, but it's the one with like the, the nicer looking wings. Uh, but that real grade would go really, really nice with this one. And then it's just showing you all the high grades from the, um, you know, the main suits from the Endless Waltz uh, series. Uh, well, I guess it's actually TV as well as some of the Endless Waltz stuff. Uh, as well. And then moving on to this side, um, it's kind of weird. They show the RG, um, you know, uh, Tall Geese uh, with the high grade Tall Geese 3. Um, it, I guess it's just saying like, hey, these are the same scale. I, I don't know why you wouldn't show a high grade uh, Tall Geese 1 and not the Tall Geese 3, but um, it's probably something on lore, like maybe this was developed from that or something, because I know this is just, I don't know, man. The Wing series kind of like throws me for a loop when it comes to the manga as well as the uh, the novel versions. Okay, so looking at all the runners, uh, you're gonna get a couple of runners right there with a nice little sticker sheet and a couple of clear, oh, you get clear beam sabers? Well, I guess it's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to paint those though. 
That's kind of weird though. Give you clear beam sabers. It's like that's like a first for RG in my you know that I've ever seen. You get some more runners right there. You get a couple more runners right here. Oh, you get some more. <laughs> okay, so you get some beam sabers right here. That's kind of weird then. Well, you get some clear ones. We'll have to get a closer examination on that. And then you get this. You get these little bookets. We've already uh, reviewed these, so we don't need to go into that again. And then you also get the beautiful manual. So let's go ahead and take a look at those uh, runners a little bit closer. Okay, so not going in any particular order, but let's go ahead and take a look at runner A. Um, the, the white looks really good. It's uh, it's almost like a gloss. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a gloss uh, finish, but uh, it looks really, really, really good. And you got some gray down there and then some yellow. And once again, those clear parts uh, include the beam sabers. And it looks like that's going to be a part maybe for the, uh, the, the, um, the rifle as well as maybe the head. Looks like it might be the, the, the eye camera, uh, but we'll go ahead and check it out once we actually do the review. And here you have runner E1 and E2. Uh, pretty much, it looks like it's all the same white. I haven't really seen any kind of, uh, you know, like te like texture or, oh, not texture, but any kind of uh, different shading uh, when it comes to the white. So I think they all might actually be the same shade and perhaps the, uh, I know they got the blue and then the gray, so that might, be different but we'll go ahead and check it out okay so these two whites are actually different I had to like pick this up and take a uh, take a look at it so with this white being more gloss um, kind of like a gloss finish uh, this one is actually more uh, muted it, it, it actually has like a hint of gray so it's a little more like I know it's not picking up that well on the camera kind of looks more white uh, but this is kind of like more gray but it actually looks fantastic so I do like that two-tone with this and here you have runner C1 uh, it's gonna be the shield and it's also a uh, very glossy finish and you can have parts for the thrusters uh, shoulders ba uh, the back as well as uh, the chest and here's runner D1 which is gonna be the shield and all the other yellow uh, bits and parts around the mobile suit and here's runner G1 and G2 uh, so this is pretty much just all the inner frame parts it looks like a lot of the stuff uh, like normally with the inner frames it's already pre-built but this is they're really going with more of the uh, you are building the inner frame yourself now um, so you see like the waist parts right here it looks like this might be parts of the waist uh, you got like parts of the leg up here so uh, I actually much prefer this than the already pre-built um, you know inner frame so this looks really good and here is runner F uh, so this is all gonna be like the uh, really dark blue you got all the different hands right here which look amazing um, that's actually something I, I didn't notice uh, until just now they don't have like the uh, the more like posable uh, hands like the kind of like more um, uh, articulate ones uh, these are actually just set hands so I'm not gonna lie I, I actually always prefer these so whenever I do uh, pose my mobile suits I always use these instead of the um, the ones you can kind of like you know individually pose uh, so this is actually really good and I like these open hands right here um, but you know I, I don't know if this is taking a step forward or a step back so we'll definitely take a look on the review here's h2 this looks like it's gonna be uh, the top I guess I know, it's, I know it has a terminology for it, uh, but I, this, I just call it, I guess, the, the head fin or something. <laughs> but this is gonna be that little red part on the top of the head. And here's runner B, which is gonna be a lot of the inner frame stuff. Uh, so it's so like you're just getting the arms, uh, feet, and I have no idea what these parts are supposed to be. Um, they could be for the legs, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if I had to take a guess, I would just say this is like um, just some kind of mechanism for the actual leg. Um, to have better articulation or something um, that's just that's the way it looks to me so uh, but not really much uh, not many parts for the actual inner frame uh, for this kit here's two beam sabers okay and here is the uh, sticker sheet so I know most people would prefer the water slides but I only prefer the water slides if I'm gonna go and uh, like go all out for a kit like you know paint it do some high details and such um, so for this I'm, I'm you know I'm not really too um, upset that they're just like stickers um, most most of the real grades I would say the stickers are not too bad uh, sometimes you you ha you don't have a very good cut so like some of the excess um, sticker will be like kind of protruding out of uh, the armor uh, but that's an easy fix you can easily cut it while on the sticker sheet and it will have a better um, kind of fit on any kind of parts uh, but overall you know you got your little shiny stuff which 
this can if I had if I had my chrome pen this can easily be just painted with the chrome pen instead of using the uh, the stickers but I don't have it with me I gotta wait for it to get into the mail uh, and then you're gonna have your nice little um, caution signs and all that and lastly you're gonna have the manual so uh, front cover of the box is gonna be on the front of the manual and you got all uh, your stuff right here and then the list of runners which really is not that many runners uh, you know most I think most real grades have way more runners than that but that's kind of what um, kind of validates the price maybe it's just a, a much small well, it is a wing kit so it's gonna be a lot smaller than most um, RGs but overall looks like it's gonna be a very very simplistic uh, build and you're gonna have these nice little thrusters um, so on and so forth so nothing too crazy the weapons gonna be right here which looks fantastic and yeah that's looks like that's all we are going to have I'm just kind of like fumbling through these pages just to see if there's anything interesting. And it doesn't look like there's really much interesting at all. Um, and then the decals. So that's it, guys. Uh, definitely thanks for watching. Um, I'm hoping, because I, I, I want to get the Grimoire uh, Red Beret. I want to get that done uh, by tomorrow night. Then work on this all day Sunday. And hopefully I can have this up uh, and ready by Sunday night. If not by Sunday night, then maybe by Monday or uh, at the latest by Tuesday. But that's it guys, uh, definitely thanks for watching. Remember rate, comment, subscribe, and then ring that bell for future notifications, especially if you want to get a notification for this review. Uh, but that's it for me, definitely um, you know, catch that review when it comes maybe Monday or Tuesday, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.